so here is the list of all those 68 references which were used to answer our query so if we have to write something on i mean what are the non-canonical rules of dubs so here you can see it has beautifully categorized i mean the what are the standard function and what are the non-canonical rules of dubs including scaffolding regulation non-catalytic role and here it has also listed the roles of non-canonical dubs with the reference of different animals and different pathways and it has also given the conclusion and future direction as well so we can ask can you draw draw the abstract for non-canonical canonical roles of dubs in plant so you can see here welcome to another video tutorial this video is very useful for all whether you are a master student phd student or an early career researcher we need to go through a lot of article to write a literature review to address a biological question or to change to our new research direction so here comes the role of ai tools and honestly most of the tools are impressive until we realized that it need paid subscription or it is citing fake references so today i am going to introduce you a very useful tool called borium and which is not only the research engine but actually it is a complete ecosystem for serious research so let's dive in and test it here is the home page of borium and once you will land on this borium.com first you will see science navigator and as you can see we can ask any scientific question and in this video i will ask a different question with slight changing in the keyword whether it can adopt changes in the keywords and whether it can give some different references according to our research query and then i will also introduce its different tabs so first let me ask one question to whether if you are interested to write a literature review about the roles of dubs and we know that dubs are actually the deubiquitinating enzymes so uh, first we can write i mean because all everybody knows about the canonical roles i mean the formal role so what are the non-formal i mean the non-canonical roles of dubs so we can ask this question what are the non-canonical role canonical roles of dubs so we can ask this question so you can see first as we ask this question what are the non-canonical roles so you can see it has divided our query into the different sections and uh, you can see it has started to answer our question depending upon our query and uh, you can see the it has also created a list of 68 references we will also see whether it can produce answers from the latest references so as here you can see the, our first query is answered according to the different recent literature as well and you can see here the each and every because i know this topic and i can see these review articles and these research article actually are very relevant so let me show you a few references uh, so we can get uh, yeah here are the different resources and here are the relevant pictures so if you want to see the relevant references so we can click on here so here is the list of all those 68 references which were used to answer our query so if we have to write something on I mean what are the non-canonical roles of dubs so here you can see it has beautifully categorized i mean the what are the standard function and what are the non-canonical roles of dubs including scaffolding regulation non-catalytic role and here it has also listed the roles of non-canonical dubs 
with the reference of different animals and different pathways and it has also given the conclusion and future direction as well but before we go into the further detail let me change this query a bit and see whether it can sense the change in the query and it can produce a list of different references so we can go back and we can ask what are the non canonical roles of dubs in plants so we can specify our query and see whether it can generate the different resources so as here you can see it has started to again understand the question and identified research direction the beauty of this ai tool it do not completely require to buy any subscription and it has no limit to use Coming back to our query, you can see what are the non-canonical roles of dubs in plant. So it has now given the references from 66 resources. And uh, if you can see our first ref in our first few references, it has included one of the famous review, which I know, I mean, it was published in 2014. And uh, you can see it has also uh, given you the access to all those articles which are published online and which have the open access so you can directly access their pdf so we can directly go and ask different questions related to this this review article was actually published in frontiers in plant science and if you want to summarize this uh, this main finding about I mean if you do not have enough time and if you really want to cut your literature review time short so you can just gather all the list of those those resources and you can summarize those findings let me use the summarize feature for summarizing the summary of this review article so you can see it has started to generate the summary so we can also copy this one and if you want to look your pdf so you see once you will click on this so it will ask you if you want to read the whole pdf so you can save this to your knowledge base once you will save it will directly come to this knowledge base tab so you here i have already created my knowledge base so i will directly save it here so once you will save it the full access to your all free access article will be available in this knowledge base so once uh, you are ready and your whole list of resources is ready so you can compile the summary of each and you can design your relevant headings and then you can start putting your data in the different headings so uh, then we can go to its home again and we can see what we have next so as here you can see we have also subscription list whether i mean if you are interested in relevant keywords or whether you are interested in only few journals i mean whenever there is new research article so you can have access on them so let's suppose we are interested in one keyword like roles of dubs in reproductive plant biology yeah let's suppose we are interested in this one so you can see it has given you the different 99 results related to the roles of dubs so you can directly subscribe uh, to these whenever there would be any new article published it will automatically give you a notification and after subscription there is library option and you can see you can explore your different field whether it is related to biology and you can see whatever like my field is plant sciences if your field is different you can go into your different research fields and here you can see uh, i have the different list of those journals have already published our query related articles and uh, then we can go to the scholars and as here you can see here we have list of uh all the scholars uh it will automatically be recommended for you according to your search history and even if you want to search any of your favorite scholars so you can directly search them as well 
like if we want to search like Asif Ali uh, so there would be a lot of Asif Ali I believe yeah you can see here are the different uh, research scholars which you can search and directly connect with them as well and here you can see we have the knowledge base so just now uh, previously I have told once uh, you will add your paper which have the open access so it will directly come to this knowledge base so as here you can see here are the two article which I have already added so you can see here PDF is available I mean we can directly uh, access to the read PDF so here is the PDF of that article which we have just added to our knowledge hub so you can see here we go and uh, test its other feature here is we have the notebook and as here you can see here are the different pipelines I mean created by different researchers like here you can see we have the introduction to the quantum simulation algorithms published by this researcher and then we have other notebooks as well and if I can show you I mean they would have categorized all the like I mean how the simulation algorithm works and even you can access to its different codes and I mean this feature would really help a lot to know and learn anything specific uh, from your favorite researcher or favorite even courses as well so as here you can see the next tab is course here you can see a lot of researchers have already created a lot of free resources courses are available in Chinese and English as well so uh, you can go and free sign up for them you can see here we have the deep learning application and here is the instructor information and here is the relevant discussion so you can enroll it for free and here we have then apps so you can see here we have the some few apps which will be helpful for predicting like this RNA scantry structure prediction so I will not go into the detail of this then here we have the competition tab as well and one thing uh, which is the last but not the least which is the science draw assistant so first uh, I will explore and will show you here are the different option of science draw assistant so uh, it is divided into three categories one is science draw assistant one is paper assistant and one is code assistant I mean in science draw assistant we can ask anything so we can ask can you draw draw the abstract for non-canonical canonical roles of dubs in plant so here comes the actually the point where points I mean if you want to use this feature so it needs actually your 40 points per use so we can uh, use this one uh, all rest of all the features are almost free so here you can see it is starting to generate our image and here you can see I have already created one illustration for I mean factor affecting fertility of anthers so you can see here it is the non-canonical roles of dubs in autophagy translation hormone signaling genome iron homeostasis and photosynthesis which is brilliant and even you can download it so and uh, then we have the paper assistant I mean you can upload any PDF and you can directly chat with them like that size space tool and uh, here we have the code assistant I mean whatever you have code and you are facing difficulties or you are getting error so you can give your code and ask and uh, it will help you to remove your errors and that's all for Borium and I believe this video will be helpful to understand how to use Borium and how to cut your time short to write a literature review or to address a biological question. If you have any question related to the use of Borium, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.